Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, turn on CloudWatch logging for your API gateway. So I have created a sample API uh, in the API gateway called MyTaste API. So to uh, turn on CloudWatch uh, you need to go into your API, uh, go to uh, resources and then from the action you need to uh, deploy your API first. So you can either deploy it uh, to the stage that you already have created it or you can create a new stage so for this uh, video let me go ahead and create a new stage for you so let's call it stage and let's say deploy now this will deploy uh, our API into uh, another stage called QA and you can see that uh, what is the URL of this particular API so the format of this is basically HTTPS followed by API uh, stage ID uh, or API gateway ID uh, then you have the region and then finally you have uh, the stage uh, after the slash so to turn on logging you need to go to logs and tracing and then you need to check this checkbox which says uh, enable CloudWatch logs and you can turn on uh, if you want to see full request and response uh, in the logs so when you turn this on uh, you should click save changes now when I do that I would be seeing an error and that is to show you that uh, we are missing a very important step here but let me show that uh, error first so when you click on save you can see that it says CloudWatch logs role ARN must be set in account settings to enable logging so this basically means that uh, API Gateway today does not have permissions to uh, post logs to the CloudWatch and to do that you need to provide it with a role ARN that lets uh, it do that so to do that you have to go to settings and here you can see uh, you have CloudWatch logs uh, role ARN currently it's blank so we will be adding a new ARN uh, of the role that will allow the API gateway to post logs to CloudWatch. So to do that, uh, go to services, uh, then you need to go to IAM. And once you go there, uh, you need to go to roles. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new role. So now you need to choose a service that will use this role. Uh, in our case, it is the API Gateway uh, service that needs to use this role and the role should give us give the API Gateway permission to post logs to the CloudWatch. So let's go ahead and select API Gateway and click on Next Permissions. And let's see, uh, so you can see it shows uh, Amazon API Gateway push to CloudWatch logs. Uh, this is the permission that allows uh, API Gateway to push the logs to CloudWatch. Uh, so let's go ahead and click review. Let's just add a rule name as API Gateway uh, Logs Rule and let's just create this rule. Now once you create this rule, uh, you can go to this rule and you can see that this is the ARN of the rule that you have created. So just copy this and let's go back to our API gateway and let's add this uh, rule that we have just created. So go to settings, uh, go to uh, your CloudWatch role ARN, paste your ARN here and click on save. Now once uh, it is saved, you should not see any error here. Uh, now you can go back to your API, go to stages and uh, we had created a QA stage and deployed our API. So let's go to logs and tracing again. Uh, let's enable CloudWatch uh, logs now and we want to see request response of the data and let's click on save changes now. And you can see at this time it did not show us any error, right? So now let's go to uh, CloudWatch and see uh, the logs of this API gateway. Now to do that you go to CloudWatch service then you go to logs and you, here you can see that there are three uh, buckets. Uh, welcome so when you turn on uh, logging for your API gateway they should automatically come up and then you have two logs one for dev and one for QA so the dev and QA are nothing but stages that we have deployed our API in so if you click on QA you would see that there are no uh, new logs for QA so th these are some old logs uh, API gateway execution logs and you can see that there are no events found right 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, execute this API in QA and uh, then we will see some logs here. So to do that, uh, I am building some uh, web app to use API Gateway. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Uh, instead of dev, I'm just going to call QA stage now. And uh, this is the web app that I'm currently working on. It's still work in progress, but just to hit the URL, we will, we can use this. So uh, select this and let's just click on upload and uh, it should have hit uh, the URL and if we go to CloudWatch now and just refresh this and go into the QA uh, you can see there are two uh, hits already and uh, let's go ahead and click one of them and we can see that uh, this is what came up which is uh, the bucket and key so this is specific to the API that I am currently working on so I'll not go into more details of the API but the important thing is that uh, the API that you have created has started uh, logging data into the CloudWatch uh, logs so just to repeat again uh, what we did uh, just go to your API once you go to your API go to your stages uh, if you do not have a stage uh, deployed uh, from the API go ahead and create that stage once you go to that stage go to logs and tracing uh, then you do need to enable CloudWatch logs and uh, you can optionally select if you want uh, to log request response data as well and just click on save and before you do that you need to uh, provide it a uh, role ARN that API gateway can use to post logs to the CloudWatch and to do that you need to go to IAM uh, you need to go to rules and you need to create a new rule uh, that API gateway can use to post logs to CloudWatch and once you have created this role you can just copy the ARN of this role and paste it here and then save it and once that is done uh, you can go to your stages and just save the configuration uh, for the CloudWatch and it should be all set and from there uh, all the API requests that hit your API gateway for that particular stage will get logged into the API gateway so you can uh, in the uh, in the CloudWatch logs. So you can go to the CloudWatch logs and view those uh, API requests. So that's all uh, for the API gateway. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.